Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing with you guys an easy home decor. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For the first project, I'm going to be using this wood round sign that I found on Dollar Tree. And here's the item number, just in case if you guys need it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that image from the sign. I want to show you for my friend Candy and Marcy that they had a question. They asked me how to remove that image. They said that sometimes it's pretty hard. And I just want to show you a great example. This image from this sign, it was a little bit hard to remove so i just use this small packet knife that i had on hand it does take me a little bit of time i'm not gonna lie in the end i love it how it turns out because it gives really good finish on my signs i just see a few friends that they use like just a piece of paper on the back they just covered the image or some other people they decide just to paint on the top of the image you guys can have many options but i just want to show you the part especially for my friend candy and marcy and I hope you guys enjoyed the part. And to paint it, I'm using the Restore Chalkboard Paint on color white. I'm going to do first one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint. So once I was done, I'm just going to start creating lines. And for that, I'm just using my pencil and my ruler. And I'm just going to trace the lines twice so they can be a little bit dark. And once I'm done marking the lines, I'm going to be using my finger to distress all the lines also i'm gonna be using this beautiful wall sticker that i found on dollar tree so you guys can see my sticker it's a little bit bigger so i'm gonna be using my scissors to cut it so once i was done i'm gonna place my sticker this way so the other thing that i decide to do i use a little bit of my patch so we can seal very well our sticker so i just did one cut on my patch and i just placed my sticker So I decided to do another coat on my patch on the top so we can seal everything. So once it's completely dry, I decided to distress it a little bit. And for that, I'm using the Restolent Chopper Paint on color white. And I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. The other thing that I decide to do, I just use a small piece of your twine and I just tie it very well on the top. You guys can use the same piece of your twine that I had on the wood sign, but I decide to use this piece. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. This video is part of the summer theme home decor collab with Mia from Make It With Mia channel. Thank you so much Mia. It was an honor for me to collaborate with you. Also, I'm so happy to do a giveaway for the first time in my channel. To enter to the giveaway, it's so simple. You just need to be subscribed to my channel and Mia's channel. Leave a comment down below and that's all you need to do. Good luck to everyone. We will announce the winner in my community tab here in YouTube and also in Instagram. Thank you so much. For the next project, I'm going to be using one high clutch dome that I found on Dollar Tree. It was the first time that I see them and I think they're really beautiful. I'm going to be using this jewelry border sticker that I found on Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to place it all around of the base. So you guys can see, I just used one piece and it was a little bit smaller. So I just grabbed another piece and I just connected. So with the extra border sticker, 
scissors, I just use my scissors to cut it. Also, on the end, I just use a little bit of hot glue to glue the remain piece. And to paint it, I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white. So first, I did a coat to cover everything very well. And once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. So to paint it, I'm just using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. So once it was completely dry, I'm going to be using the Deco Art Bright Metallic Paint that I had on hand. So I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it a little bit. So you guys can see, I'm going to distress it at the way that I want it. And once it was done, I decided to use this beautiful flower that I had on hand to place it in the middle. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project. I think it turned out really beautiful, but please let me know what do you guys think. For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful wood holder that I had on hand. I had it for a really long time, so I decided to do something different so I can use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove first this image. So once I remove the image, I'm going to be using this Bristolian chalkboard paint and I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. So first, I was just painting all outside of the wood holder. But once I was done, I decided to paint inside so it can have a finished look. And here is the part where I show you that I decide to paint inside because I didn't like it how it looks. So once it's completely dry, I'm going to be using this image of the calendar that I found on Dollar Tree. So first, I just place my image on the top so we can trace it at the side that I need it. So once I was done, I just use my scissors to cut it. The next thing, I'm going to be using this Mod Podge and I'm just going to do one coat and to put the Mod Podge, I'm just using this small brush that I got from Dollar Tree and once I was done placing that Mod Podge, I'm just going to put my image on the top. The other thing that I decided to do another coat on Mod Podge so we can seal the image. I decided to distress that image a little bit and for that I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white so you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. You guys can distress it at the way that you guys want it. So once I was done I decided to distress also the edges so it can look way better and I'm just using this sandpaper that I got from Dollar Tree. And to put inside, you guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. I'm going to be using just a few pieces of the greenery and also these beautiful flowers that I had on hand.
And this is how it looks after you once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this beautiful wood holder. I think it turned out really beautiful. Please let me know what do you guys think. For the next project, I'm going to be using another wood round sign that I found on Dollar Tree. And here is the item number, just in case if you guys need it. So, I just show you on the first video how I removed that image. So, this is how it looks once you remove that image. So, the next thing, I'm going to be using one image of the calendar that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be marking at the site that I need it. So, I just flip my sign and I just use my my pencil to mark it at the side that I need it and once I was done to cut it just going to use my scissors to cut it Also, I'm going to be using this Mod Podge to put our image so you guys can see my image, it had a hole in the middle. I'm just going to put it together with that hole that it had my sign so we can put a hanger once we're done. So I'm just going to do one cut on Mod Podge and I'm just going to put my image. Once I place my image, I just try to smooth a little bit the image so it won't have that many wrinkles. Also, I decided to do another coat or mud patch on the top so we can seal our image. So once it's completely dry, I'm going to just stress that image and for that I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint so you guys can see I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. You guys can distress it at the way that you guys want it. Also to clean a little bit the edges, we can use this sandpaper and we can remove the extra paper that they have on the edges because my image was a little bit bigger and this is the way that I clean the edges of the sign. I don't know what happened with that image where I show you how to put this beautiful bow but what I did, I just used a few pieces of that lace ribbon Bartlett ribbon and do twine and I just tie everything very well and once I was done I just create this small jute twine to put it right here and I just use a little bit of hot glue to glue it and to hang our beautiful wall sign I just use a small piece of jute twine and I just tie it very well you guys can use the same piece of jute twine that it had the sign And this is how it looks our project once we're done. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this project? For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful piece of wood that I had on hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this staple that I had in one of the sides. I hope you guys can see it. And also, I'm going to be using a piece of sandpaper to sand it very well, especially the edges of the piece of wood. And to paint it, I'm using the Restoring Chalkboard Paint on color white and I'm going to do one coat. And to paint it, I'm just using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Also, I decided to paint the back of the piece of wood so it can have a finished look. And to distress a piece of wood, I'm using the Deco Art Bright Metallic Paint that I had on hand. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint. And also, I'm just distressing the edges of the piece of wood. So once I was done, I'm going to be using this extra piece of paper that we just had from the other project that we just created. I just mark it very well so we can place it this way. 
and to put our image i'm just using a little bit of mud podge i'm just going to do one coat and i'm just going to place our image and once i was done i decided to do another coat of mud podge on the top so we can seal our image So once it's completely dry, I'm going to be using that Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white to distress it a little bit. So you guys can see, I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress it. I'm going to use this Rob Bomb transfer sticker that I found on Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using that word family. And I'm just going to be placing it this way. So I'm just going to be scratching it with my finger. And once I was done, I just removed that extra piece of plastic. And also, I just like to use a little bit of mud patch to seal our letters and I just did one coat and I just let it dry. The next thing, I'm going to be using this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be wrapping it a few times around. And once I was done, I just used my scissors to cut it and with the remain piece, I just tie it on the back everything very well. I decide not to use hot glue just in case if I want to change the piece of jute twine. But if you guys want, you guys can use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. I'm going to be using these beautiful flowers to put it right here on the top. You guys can put anything and it will look really beautiful. What do you guys think about this project? And here's the second option that I have for you guys today. If you guys want to put something different in the top. For the next project, I'm going to be using this beautiful glass jar that I found on Dollar Tree. I just love all the detail that they have in this glass. So that's the reason why that I grabbed this beautiful jar. So to paint it, I'm using the Ristolan chalkboard paint on color white. I'm going to do first one coat and once it's completely dry, I'm going to do a second coat. And to paint it, I'm just using this brush that I got from Dollar Tree. And this is how it looks once you do the second coat of paint. So the next thing, I'm going to be using that Deco Art metallic paint. So I'm just using a little bit of paint to distress just the edges so you guys can see. Also, I decided to distress the bottom part and the top part so it can cast a finished look everything together. So here's the part where I'm going to show you. You just grab a little bit of paint and the brush and you're just going to grab your jar and you're just going to start putting all the paint. Don't be afraid because you won't be painting inside. You're just going to be painting just the borders. In the beginning, I was so afraid. I was like, I want my lines to be really good, but it doesn't matter because once you finish painting it, look how beautiful it turns out. It gives a lot of texture to the jar. I just love it how it 
turns out and I'm going to be using also this bottom part from the other project that we create I want to show you how it looks once you put the lid of the jar and put the jar on the top look how beautiful it turns out please let me know what you guys think or if you guys want you guys can just use the jar and put inside like flowers greenery anything you guys can put and it will look beautiful too And please don't forget to subscribe to Mia's channel. I will link in my description box below her video and also her channel. Thank you so much. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.